I had uh, COVID-19 this summer, early June. I was hospitalized for 17 days, uh, released on July 2nd and on oxygen at home recovering until August 8th. Um, it was a very difficult time for me. I thank God for all of my friends, my network of family and friends that made it a lot easier for me to recover and try to get better in the hospital. And the hospital was um, 17 days. You don't think about it and you don't. it doesn't occur to you until you go through it, but 17 days can really do a number on your body. You know, 17 days in a bed, a muscle breakdown, uh, you know, having to pretty much learn how to walk again with the assistance of a walker, physical therapy. Um, I am here to tell you uh, this is real. This is not a joke. Um, you, you know, there's a lot. It, it's not a one size fits all uh, virus when it affects you. Some people take it a lot harder than others. Um, and we don't think about those people when we're out there and uh, being careless and not wearing our masks. We were very careful for one. We even sanitized the groceries every single time we went to the store and brought them in the house. Um, I'm in a Walmart parking lot right now. Uh, I don't get off at the stores anymore. My son actually gets off and uh, does all the shopping. I really wish that I didn't have to risk his health out there. Um, you know, this is not a joke. We need to be very careful everything, the hair loss, the anxiety, the um, tightness in my chest, some, you know, as if someone is sitting on my chest on a daily basis. It just, you know, I'm almost uh, six months in recovery and I'm, I still have a lot of those residual side effects, not to mention the, um, the, the fatigue, constant severe fatigue. So, I just wanted to, you know, put it out there. We need to be careful. We need to take care of ourselves, our families, our communities. It's not just about us. I had it, and believe me, you do not want it. Thank you.